Okay, how you folks doing? Yeah, I'm talking week six college football here. Um, you know what? Alabama has gone down. Whoo, was that a shocker or what? Folks, I'm gonna talk about U of M close game against the Nebraska. That was the other kind of scary game of the day. But the fact that U of M won another road game, the first time they were behind all season, they good and then it didn't fall apart the first time it happened. So test number one, check. Number two, I think we're number two, uh, Ohio State off. I wonder if we move up the rankings of the state at night. That's interesting to see. And also, how far will Alabama fall? And how far will Iowa be a, consider now a playoff team at this point? We might be playing them with a Big Ten championship. Well, okay. I'm going to get back to Michigan real quick here, though. Number one, they look good. At least the first half. That second half, I guess Nebraska found his footing, got his offense rolling. But once again, at the end of the game, Michigan makes the big play, come down to the field goal, make the last stop on Nebraska in the day. So Michigan has a team now. And we're not convinced of that. Well, they played nobody. Nebraska was a tough game. That the Martinez guy is slightly underrated. I don't know who be an NFL quarterback, but dang, he's annoying to play against in college. I'll just say that much. Uh, but hey, we had we actually had a run of 20 yards passing, 20 yards running, only one turnover, and we didn't get a lot of stupid, stupid penalties. So you know, I'm fine with what happened yesterday. A lot of people think, well, Michigan and they blow out. But guess what? We're playing style football. We're not going to be pretty blowing out everybody, but y'all going to we're going to get the win. A W to W. Okay, now back to Alabama, Texas A&M. Like, Texas A&M came in there like no fear at all. Like, they just hung Alabama punch for punch. They had to lead most of the game. And they came up, like I said, when it counted the most, the most teams get Alabama on the ropes and don't get them early. They got them. But for the historians, every time Alabama's lost the game, they've actually gone on, I think, at least playing a national championship game. They're like nine times on the second minute they had actually been a national championship game after one loss. So don't write them off yet. But boy, things get mighty interesting in, in the rankings now. Well, Georgia's gonna be one. What Iowa's gonna be three. And Iowa Penn State, that was a heck of a battle until Penn State quarterback went down. And Iowa took advantage of the situation. It was a really grinded out defensive struggle. You know, the score wasn't quite the case. As much team struggle, but it was definitely back and forth. But uh Iowa with those four turnovers against Penn State was a difference in the game. <sighs> yeah, and that's really I want to talk about today, basically, those those matches, because that was a back-and-forth game. I watched that, too, and it was like, hey, it was a good old grind-out, slow-going Big Ten game. What can I say? Well, folks, we'll see. Uh, Michigan State took care of business. I'm looking forward to that. Now I'm really looking forward to it because uh, I'm looking really looking forward to looking like the Big Ten's going to have, like, five teams ranked inside the top eight this week. That's the big racing to watch. He just starts playing off in the next four to five weeks. Including, hopefully, if things work out, an undefeated Michigan and an undefeated Michigan State October 30th at East Lansing. Let's go, baby. Go, Blue. Let's get it on. That's all I got to say. I'm done. I'm out this week. Any questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, let me know. But I don't have a lot to say this week. I just got to the point. Get it done, and I'm out.